Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to record CS videos and edit them in HD quality. So first, what you want to do is download the movie pack config that I provided in the info tab on this video. After you download it, make sure you put the config folder into your C strike folder and virtual dub anywhere on your desktop. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to run CS in the window. After you run CS in the window, you want to change the resolution to 1280 by 720 and this makes it like a plasma TV kind of and you also want to make sure that all your settings are on high so it can look like it's HD now what you do is in console or in console yeah type in execute movie what this does is it executes your movie config and there's a lot of um a lot of buttons you can press to like tweak it out and stuff. So after you've done that, you can play your demo. All right. So after you got your demo played, you want to load up your tick. To bring this demo UI up, just press Shift F2. So you go to your tick, which just takes also a while. So one second. So once your tick is loaded. What you do is bring up your demo UI, which is Shift F2 again. And in console, type in host underscore frame rate 120. Now, what you do is you press resume and you press F11. And what happens is uh, your video starts lagging. You think you're lagging, but that's not what's happening. Because what it's doing right now is taking millions and millions of screenshots that's going to go in your C-Strike folder that we're going to use to make your video HD. Also, it's really annoying because the last sound that you heard replays over and over. So I suggest you like take a break from this and just like wait until it's really done. Um, so basically, it's taking millions and millions of screenshots and... Here I get the shot because I'm amazing. Once I kill, and I'm just gonna cut a shot right here. So after you're done, you press F12, and basically it starts to move. These are all binds in the config for fast movie editing. So after that's done, you can close CS because you won't need CS again. What you do is open up Virtual Dub, which is also in the movie pack config. Alright, so once virtual dub is open, what you do is open file video and you look for the last recording. My mind is B00. Usually it's the letter and four zeros. You don't want to look for it automatically. Or manually, I mean. So it's right here. So I open it. And if I stream through this, it looks really smooth. And this is all the screenshots put together. So what you do is click on audio, audio from other file, and make sure you add the audio, which is B in this case. And go back to audio and click full process mode, which makes it a crispier sound. Go under video and go to frame rate and go to change frame rate to and put in 60. Press OK. And video again and go to color depth and go to 24 bit RGB 888. Press OK. And after that's done, you go to file and save as AVI and save anything you want. And then you save it. And this takes a while also. What you want to do is put processing thread priority highest and uncheck show input video and show output video so it can render faster. Faster. Blah, sorry. Anyways, once this is done. Alright, so once your VDUP is done, you can close VDUP and you can open up Sony Vegas. Alright, once Sony Vegas is open, oh, it's loading my last project. Looks like you click on new, file new, and for a template, you put in width 1280, height 720, pixel aspect ratio 1.0, which is square, frame rate 30, and you press OK. 
and these are HD settings basically and what you do is you import your media and it should look like this and if you notice your video should be twice as long as your audience to fix this you right click on the video go down to properties and where it says playback rate put 2.0 and press ok and you can see it creates this little line and you just like set it back just like that and if you play through it it should be smooth and that's about it and you basically you edit and then you render again and you upload it to YouTube and YouTube will automatically put it as HD settings and it'll look crystal clear. Thanks for watching my tut. Uh, look out for more of my tuts. Thanks. And here how it should look after it's all done.